Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and here today we have the uh, Summer uh, Fay Channel for August 1st, and uh, we're just going to jump right in and uh, see what we've got. So uh, here we go, we've got Anna in the background chilling by the drink stand it looks like, and here's our girl Fay. Hi Fay. It sure has been a while, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my! It looks like one of the shops I've been meaning to check out is open today. Say, is that? A few things for this were data mined, so we've got a decent idea for like some of it. Uh, I think there was like a structure, and then one of the banners and like some tickets. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so uh, Brave Heroes will be a separate one. Version update information and more. In the next video, we'll be sharing information about the Choose Your Legends heroes. And with that, I'm not super invested in CYL this year. Uh, I threw all my votes on. I think I did like one vote on Ash and then threw the rest on Byleth. <laughs> hey, he made like he was like top five. I think he was like top five or for sure top ten. So, one day, I might get Brave Byleth, and then I'm going to lament the fact that I can't summon for like a whole year. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've been playing this accursed gotcha daily for four and a half years. <laughs> what has become of my life? <laughs> Uh. First up are some celebratory login bonuses. We've got two login bonuses lined up for you. If you log in for ten days during the act, nice, nice. I do need some grails. There's so don't forget to check in some daily. stuff that I've got ideas for. Next up are grand oh. hero battle cool. revivals. Grand hero battles that appeared between January and June 2021 will make their return as revivals for two days each. All right, nothing that I'm super excited about, but I guess uh, another Sonya for like Fortress so Def Res bridging or something. Yeah. Battles, I'd recommend you give them another shot. Next up are oh, wow, they haven't done these in a while. Special maps will be added once a day for 10 consecutive days. Oh no, I'm, am I thinking of something else? Maybe. From the A Hero Rises 2021 event will appear. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Yeah, these these ones I think they do pretty commonly. And they're they're just throw your units in an auto battle. <laughs> yeah, we get a there's there's a a structure that was data mined. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, there it is. That you can exchange for a celebratory structure for Aether Raids. Cool. Moving right along, we have yeah, the Hero the Hero Fest was the other thing that was uh, data mined. This time? I know. No I know who was in there. Guinevere. Our green hero will be Dadu. Dadu! <laughs> I'm sad. I was saving, and I'm almost at 700 orbs, but I really want Dadu. <laughs> Is Henriette? I can't believe it. Henriette is making yep. an appearance. Yep, that was bad, Mike. No surprise there. Henriette is a special hero, isn't she? This is the first time a special hero will appear in a hero fest. So, like, I'm definitely going to take advantage of this rare opportunity, and I hope you do too. I kind of want like a Dudu and maybe a Henriette, like a Henriette to save for fodder in the future. Oh wait! Oh, I I think I needed one for Brave Hector too. Five percent will be dedicated to the five star focus heroes you see here. Oh wow! 
Yeah, and we get some tickets. Ten first summon tickets for the Hero Fest just by logging in once during the active period. This will be a great opportunity to make some powerful heroes your allies. That's it for Phase Summer. Uh, I was hoping that one would have a spark, but all of those rewards maybe that was too much to hope for. <laughs> I might go in though for for a, at least like one to do and maybe one Gwen or uh, not Gwen uh, Henriette. Five hundred heroic grails, one hundred and twenty divine codes, part two. Five hundred aether stones, ten hero fest first summon tickets, five stamina potions. <laughs> Who cares about five stamina potions? Come on. <laughs> I say that, but I actually am excited about five hero or uh, arena crests. <laughs> I have like no arena crests. I'm I've been slowly accumulating them again, but like I'm still at like 50 arena crests. Everyone else has like hundreds, and I just have like 50. <laughs> I try hard at arena too much, and uh, now I I pay the, the price for it. <laughs> Pirates again? I guess it was popular. I wish I wish Picnic had done better because Picnic was a great theme, uh, and I assume that the banner bombed, and so that's why we haven't gotten uh, Picnics again. So we got Pirate Nasala. Is it in good taste? First up, it's Nasala from the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn game. His dark pirate outfit suits him well. And looks cool. Together, just look at those feathers. Burb with hat. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for some treasure. Magoos and Bayork, all smiling together. This is a sight I'm happy to have seen. Next, we have Vika, another hero from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. She's a member of the Lagoos Emancipation Army. But it looks like she took some time off from that to dress up like a pirate and participate in the festival. I heard her say something about seeing the Lagoos and Bayork mingling and having a good time together. I bet that's the real treasure she's after. Uh, sir? With a shark? <laughs> Moving along, Surtur from Fire Emblem Heroes is here. If I had to guess, endless power. That's, a, that's pretty fitting, actually. That's a good pick. I never really thought about it this way before, but maybe his way of life... I always wondered, like, would they ever do, like, a seasonal surger? Because it, it, he just seems like, where would you put him? Oh! Oh, no. Never mind. For a second, I thought that was, uh... I thought that was Claude. <laughs> I was like... His, his, uh... His hair and the... The rap looked like uh, Claude's uh, one out, his like uh, New Game Plus outfit or whatever. I got, I got kind of, it was like, yo, Claude again? <laughs> no. Hinoka? And Camilla. Big sisses. <laughs> I'm surprised it's been a long time. Like, wasn't Camilla's last alt uh, her brave one? So that's... Th they held off on her for a long time. I'm surprised she hasn't gotten uh, resplendent. Uh, like, if I were going to buy Fae Pass, I'd maybe consider for Camilla. Uh, Camilla, Corrin, Xander... Ba basically anyone I've got plus 10 are, like, ones that I'd consider. I wish Robin's was better. I, I don't like Robin's resplendent art. will become your ally if you earn enough points in the upcoming Tempest Trials Plus event. Okay. And we're getting... That's the continuation to the Niffle one, which was really cool. Which was a pretty cool uh, storyline. Changes to five star All right. heroes that appear in summoning pools. What is it this time? You see here who oh, are we dumping more? Oh, thank goodness, no more Nina. <laughs> I like Nina. I I do. I she, she's a cool character, but she does not need to to pity break me. Loki is a bit too late. 
Oh, Corrin. Man, Loki and Makoto wrecked me on that bride uh, banner. Salki! And there's uh, Valoria too, who also ate a bunch of orbs last year. No one likes dry poultry. Moving right along, we have... Information on the next version update. We got some of this. It looks like there will be some changes to the arena. New maps? You need to get rid of some of the old ones first. Some of them are terrible, and I can't believe we've been dealing with that bridge map for over uh, four years. During a chain of wins in the arena, this new feature will treat it as though your chain was never broken. But keep in mind that you can only use this once per run. That's when you pretty helpful, feature, at your least. Your chain of wins doesn't have to come to an end, so you can maintain your All right. and keep on. That's their band-aid solution to teams of four fallen Edelgard, I guess. <laughs> the other new feature, the reset button, allows you to, well, reset. By tapping this button, your chain wins and score will reset to zero, and you'll start right back from the beginning. Does that... If you ever want to restart your arena run for whatever reason, this is the button for you. So, like, you can restart without losing... using a crest to restart a map, I guess? I can't wait to take on these maps and show everyone how crafty I can be on the battlefield. I'll have to actually look, see those maps closer before I decide if they're... Evil or not. That's all for today, <laughs> Summit. Uh -huh. Where could those two be headed? I should probably follow them. Stealthily, of course. Flap, flap. Say, there's an enemy up ahead. Get him, Alphonse. So it looks like they made it through without any trouble. I should hope so. Alphonse is a red, and that was a huh? green. What's oh, the hero's journey. hero's journey! I love that book. <laughs> I think a new event is getting started. Do we need more events, though? We've got too many, and a lot of them are half baked. <laughs> Let's take a sneak peek at what they're up to. They seem to be exploring some sort of labyrinth. Faye, oh, they're about to step on a switch. <laughs> that was a plunger. Oh no! It was a trap! Now it looks like they're gathering supplies in a town. This looks cute. They? With that mountain of supplies, they must have done a good job bartering. Commander Anna would be so proud. I bet their journey was Is this for support points? And fun moments. And I'm sure they made some fond memories along the way. Oh. I guess we can see those memories in the form of memento events. In Hero's Journey, you can choose any two heroes from your barracks and enjoy watching their memento events. Let's go ahead and pick some more Hero's Memento events to watch. I guess I need something called memento points. But how do I get those? Huh? There are special battles to be fought in Hero's Journey. Let's see what this is all about. I'll pick a difficulty and let the battle commence. When you win a battle, you get points for the pair you sent off on the Hero's Journey mission. You can then use the points that you save up from battles to watch memento events. It looks like there are a few different types of memento events. And depending on which event plays out, you can earn different amounts of rapport. Gather rapport to earn dragon flowers and other rewards like the ones you see here. All right. Group up your favorite heroes and get rewards while enjoying all sorts of memento events. I mean, it, it looks really cute, 
but it also looks like the kind of thing that after like three three months I'm just gonna be like okay I'm, I'm done I've seen everything I don't care anymore just go fast <laughs> let me skip you'll just have to play for yourself and find out what lies ahead it's interesting hero's journey is set to begin on August 14th okay while you wait why don't you give some thought to which heroes you'd like to send out on an adventure to Byleth and Byleth. Duh. The ultimate pairing. They have a 100% success rate. Faye. Delicious to the last drop. Well, that's all for today, summoners. For real this time. I hope you enjoy playing Fire Emblem Heroes this summer. But don't forget to stay hydrated. And be on the lookout for the next Fae Channel video with info on Choose Your Legends. But until then, if you'll excuse me. Faye. Good night, Faye. All right, so. Overall, pretty solid, uh, pretty standard for a Fae channel. Uh, nothing that mind-blowing, I feel. Uh, we got summoning pool changes, which are cool. Uh, kind of overdue, <laughs> although maybe that's just me being very uh, residually upset about that uh, Loki and uh, Makoto <laughs> that showed up when I was summoning for uh, uh, Bride Lynn. Uh, and then we got some some other cool stuff. We got the Hero Fest, but we already knew that. We got login rewards, but we always get those. Uh, and then, like I said, the new hero, uh, pa the new hero's journey thing looks uh, really cute. But I wonder if it'll have like a lot of interactions that'll make it actually like fun to watch, or if it'll just get really boring really fast. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, oh, and then the the arena changes are nice. Uh, Especially the feature that lets us preserve a win streak uh, could be very helpful. Uh, I have a lot of streaks where I'm on like four runs and then I just get like legendary crom at the very end and I'm just like, oh, good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and then the new maps are interesting too, but I uh, have to take a closer look and see how I feel about those. I really wish they'd just delete some of the old ones, like the, the, uh, the two walls map is just atrocious. We don't need that anymore or ever. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, are you excited about these changes? Are you going to be uh, summoning on the pirate or uh, hero fest banners? Or are you just going to save some orbs and skip? Uh, save for CYL or other stuff? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out.